is my favorite thing to talk about. So mangrove snapper are one of those species uh, that are extremely fun to target. It's, in my opinion, probably my favorite fish to target and probably one of my favorite eating fish too. Whether it's inshore, near shore, or offshore, mangrove snapper are extremely smart, very quick biting, and more leader shy. So if you can master mangrove snapper fishing, especially in deep water offshore, past 100 foot of water, if you can master mangrove snapper fishing, that skill will translate to any other species and any other sort of offshore bottom fishing that you do. So mangrove snapper would be always my recommendation to focus on. And once you really get the hang of dialing in the mangrove snapper, learning how to set the hook, and you're able to catch mangrove snapper consistently and often, you're definitely approaching that expert level of offshore angling, in my opinion at least. The person who can come out and catch mangrove snapper consistently and often and catch them quickly is generally the most experienced angler because they're super smart. They're leader shy, they're, they're fast biting. So you gotta be able to feel the bite. 90% of offshore fishermen's issues are the three major things whether it's hooking your bait right to present the bait naturally, holding bottom, making sure that bait's on the bottom and it's not moving, and then uh, feeling, feeling the bite. When I say feeling the bite, a lot of people are like, hey man, I can feel the bite. I'm talking about can you lift your lead up in 150 foot of water and tell me whether or not you have bait left on the hook. That's what I mean by feeling the bite. You should be able to get to the point where you can just lift your rod tip to the sky and from the, the bounce of the lead picking up off the bottom and then the little pause and then the, the weight of your bait picking up off the bottom, you should be able to feel whether or not you have bait on the bottom. Unless you're using a little small piece of shrimp or a piece of squid, then obviously it'd be a little difficult. But if you're using a thread fin, you should be able to tell in 120, 150, 160 foot of water whether you have bait on the hook or not. And that's getting the feel for the bait and feel for the hook. And once you're able to hook the bait right, so it's presented naturally on the bottom and you're not getting tangles, you're holding bottom and you can get that feel down, All right. you're in there. You got a you're in there like swimwear. Here. You're going to start catching a lot more fish when you're offshore fishing. Over the rail in the pail. As they say. What'd you catch him on? Uh, the thread fin heron? Yeah. Way to go, man. Nice uh, fish. Thanks. All right, my neighbor to the left's got one. There's a nice one. Okay, swing him up and in. Oh, yeah, not on me. Whatever you do, you drive a hook in someone's leg like that. Oh, thanks, man. Yes, sir. Some mangoes coming in. Oh, Some Will's nice got a nice back. one. Yes, sir. We we'll usually get her. All right, we got another one on here. What's your name again? CJ. CJ. CJ's on. What CJ got? Looks like the right species to me. All right, right about there now. Bring your rod up. Secure the. Grab the line. Right, right around the sinker. There you go. Put your rod in your rod holder. Perfect. Now we're gonna let a little bit of line out so you can bring them down to the floor. Okay. There you go. Good job. Yeah, looks like he's free already. Nice. And he done unhooked himself. Oh yeah. Right. Now if he could only clean himself and cook himself, right? <laughs> Good job, CJ. I'm recording. Come on, eat them up. Nice one. Nice mangrove. That's what we're talking about right there. Nice four pounder. Good job, bud. Something coming up. Oh, that looks like the right one. Oh. 
Here we go, another nice mangrove. It's a little bit more than it is, but uh, getting a couple this right. size, Chaz just got one on a spinning reel against all us. And I was like, oh, Ooh, look at that nice rock. mangrove there. And he broke it so quick. Nice. Nice bang, Captain Garrett. Thank you. I shoot 14, my bad, 14. Still get the fish in with the tangle. <laughs> Nice, wanna hold it up for the camera? Nice one, Damien. Over here putting mangoes on the in the box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice mangrove snapper there. Wanna hold it up for the camera? Oh, there's another good Mangrove snapper. Oh yeah. Hold it up for the camera. Nice mangrove snapper on the first stop at the 39 hour. Nicely done, sir. And first stop, we're killing it. Got a whole bunch of mangoes on the vermilions. Some blue runners, corgis. Mango on the 39 hour first stop still. Nice. Stack of fish. Whatever's working. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Over here hogging them. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Got your mango. Still the second spot. Last stop. Mango. Stop the porch. Nice mangrove snapper right there. Will's got a couple more mangoes. Justin just got him three for three right here, man. Nice mangrove snapper there. Nice one there, sir. Look at that nice mangrove snapper there, folks. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that mangrove snapper. Beautiful. John Martin, the legend here. Showing us how it's done. Looks like a five, or six pounder. five, six pound mangrove snapper right there. That's how we do it, folks. If you want any tips, this is the man to get them from right here. Am I boring you? Man, am I boring you? See, a little one. But still a good one. Ooh, look at that red snapper. Or red, I mean mangrove snapper. Damn. I meant to say hey, mangrove. Bro. Look at that. Yeah. You know, you're not around when this, I catch a real fish. This is a gangster one right here. He's all scarred up. He's a bruiser. Snapper, not red. It's a, it's a red snapper. Is it red? No, mangrove. It is a mangrove. He's been out a bunch of uh, bait there. Look at that yeah, one right there. It's a mangrove snapper. That was a good one. Nice one there, sir. Look at Jim catching them up, showing us how it's done. There we go. Nice one, Jim. Nice mango. Nice mangrove snapper there. Starting to pile up, and this box hadn't even really got started in, you know. This box we just emptied out. We got some fish on here, which created this pile. Look at the size of these mangoes, good average size here. Beautiful.
generation family fishing recipe. Basically, whenever we have fish, whether we're gonna grill them, broil them, we prepare them and cook them in the same fashion. So this is definitely one of the Hubbard family secrets that we're sharing today, and uh, it's really, really good. So I'm excited to share it. All right, we're looking forward to it. Let's get into it. Mangrove snapper. These are one of my favorite eating fish. These guys are super fresh. They're super good eating. It's like Thanksgiving morning yeah, when you exactly. cut into the turkey. And now you've got all the meat off that fish. So once we did one side, we're going to flip it around and do the back side. Cut right along the backbone. Well, that seems pretty nice and easy. And then once you've got them filleted, then we got to skin them. Okay. So now you've got the skin That's removed. a clean cut right there. Yeah. <laughs> Still got some scales and stuff like that, but we we're going to rinse these down real good to get okay. rid of all the scales. Nice mist setting with the hose. Light spritz. And then as we prepare the fish, we're going to use some, uh, some mayo, and the mayo will clear out uh, any extra scales. Oh, yes, the mayo. Oh, that's I the love secret. The mayo. Now we're ready to prep it. Obviously, we've talked about the mayo, and it's got to be the real mayo. This stuff will cook off, and you'll see that when we start grilling. I'm a, a big large... mayo fan, by oh. the way, so you don't have to sell me on it. All right. <laughs> well, that's good, because I am too. We've got it mayoed up, so we're going to season it up. Okay. Black pepper. I really like this Himalayan salt. I like going a little heavier on the seasoning myself. A little bit of onion powder. Gotta have some garlic powder. Yes. This one's garlic, garlic salt. Garlic salt, okay. This is my one of my favorites. This Look is at this. Everglades seasoning. So now we've got one side done. So we're gonna just simply grab these things and flip them over. So now we're just gonna move these over to the grill. So we've got our grill nice and hot. Okay. And we're ready to put this fish on here. And as soon as we put them on there, the timer's gonna start because we don't wanna leave them on there too long because okay. it makes it really difficult to flip them. So this one I can tell is already pretty much ready. The sides are starting to get opaque. So he's cooking. You can tell it's already starting to stick together. So ah. just real quick flip. I'm honestly very impressed with myself that I haven't let one break. Oh, oh there yeah. we go. Did you jinx yourself? I no, did. you didn't. You didn't. I think you got this. There. Oh, yes. recovered. Commit yes. to the flip. You still got a little bit of translucent uh, fish right on the top there. I'm going to go ahead and close this up okay. and let it get that top side nice and seared up too. I think we're going to take this guy off right here without breaking it up. So this is it. Ladies first. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That's good. Oh, man. Taste how uh, fresh that is it's and fresh. nice and moist. So you told me you're not a sides person. You don't do sides. Not, not often. So That's my wife's area of expertise. I'll bring the sides, all right? All right. That, that's a deal. All right. Well Sounds done. Good.